I know what some of you are thinking. Did we really wait two weeks for this? But trust me, this is probably one of the wildest cars that has ever been released to GTA 5. And I actually love it for one. This is post uh, Tune Up Me. Obviously, at first I had the same sentiment as many, just like, where's my E30? But this car is actually pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to go through it today, customize it, tune it up and all. Go through all of the options and basically give you my opinions on it. If you do enjoy, of course, uh, do your thing. Drop a like, drop a sub. It would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, um, let's go through it, man. So first impressions, this thing is actually looking pretty crazy. And I don't know why, but it looks a lot better than I'd expect it to. But I figure we'll just run through the customization options, really see what's up and then make a decision on how I want to do this build. Because from what I've seen in the pictures and everything, I don't really think this is the kind of car that we can really make a clean build out of. So we might just have to play into it and make just the craziest thing we can think of. So, um, but we might, we might start off going for a buyout buggy build. Let's just take a look at the option. Uh, running through these headlights we do have a lot of options we've got like 11 here so good mix we've got like the rat rod kind of stuff we've got the low headlights and then we got like the colored ones and everything like the tuners dlc cars i'm not too sure what i want to go with yet because again I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what i want to do with this build i mean if we're going to go for a bias style we could maybe just go with something kind of standard but i will say so far, this car is not disappointing in terms of customization. Like, you know, we might have to go through it all and see what it's, what's up with that. Coming onto the tail lights, let's see what we got going on here. Again, a lot of options. So we got like these classic style ones at the top. These aren't too bad. Quite like the one with like the spider cobwebs kind of thing. Mmm. I will say as well, this car actually sounds pretty cool. You know, like an old school muscle car or something. Mm, those little ones are not it for me. So I think I'm just going to go with the cobweb thing on there. Yeah, let's go with that. Engine's already done up because, you know, had this thing before. Let's look at the exhaust. Oh my goodness. Nah, nah, nah. This car's automatically worth it. Look at this right here. The double quad exhaust. Oh my goodness. There's no way I'm not putting this on the car. Like, come on. This thing is awesome. I don't even care. Yeah, it's rice. I don't care. I love this thing. That is mad. Let's just go through the other options though. Let's see, you know, make sure we're not missing out on anything else. You stinger exhaust. Most of these look pretty similar to the ones that we had on the normal Weevil. So, you know, just standard buyer and like, you know, crazy exhaust anyways. But nah, that double quad, that double quad's calling to me, man. Yes, I'm going to put these on, man. There's no way I don't. This is actually wild. All right. Uh, hood accessories. Let's see what kind of stuff we got going on here. We've got just trims. I don't even. Okay, we got the horns on the right. Okay, that's what it is. And the deflectors. I don't know what I'm missing here, like, but I can't seem to find, like, see what the deflector is. Is it that little thing in the center or? Like, I, I don't get what it's meant to be. But paying four grand if it's just that little dot. Oh, we got the spikes. I remember seeing this on like the leaked fixtures. Okay, the hood spikes are probably what I'm gonna go with. You know what, we might have to completely can the idea of the buyout buggy if we go with this, cause you know, it's just gonna be like conflicting. What I might end up doing then, I might just make this like a rat rod build or just like a race tune or something crazy. Cause this car, this car is calling to me to go all out. <laughs> so I might take advantage. Right, let's see what hoods we got. Uh, I've never liked those hoods with like the little, you know, thing in the middle the lights then we got like the 1930s style hood or you know like one of those old old cars it was kind of crazy tiger in the crew can probably tell me what that is but it's pretty nice uh but no i don't think a classic build's gonna work out for this one 
I think I'm gonna leave it for now, right? Interior, we might cover that in a bit. Let's just see, ooh, liveries, liveries. We got 17. All right, so we got this one with the big skull. We got like the summer love stuff, the flower power stuff, okay. I rock with those. All these crazy tribal liveries and like the flowers and that. Uh, okay, we got like the rusted herbie, evil weevil. I think most of these were on the normal one. A few new ones, but evil weevil is probably gonna have to be it for me. <laughs> this thing right here is gonna look devious by the time we're done with it. There's no way that I make this clean. This is how it is. Yeah, let's get let's get rid of that front bumper. Come on, let's go with like the extended or the bars or something. You know, we're not, we're not gonna go with the bio build no more. Throw that idea out the window. Okay, do the same on the back. All right, let's see what else we got in the car. Uh, right, let's just adjust the lights to fit. Yeah, okay, it's looking all right so far. Seats, let's see what we got going on. So we got like the buckets. What is this? The barrel seats, that is crazy. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got like vintage seats and everything. Take a look from the outside. I don't get what's going on with those seats. People actually drive with that? Like that can't be a real thing. Um, someone in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, where is your back support on that? Okay, a lot of this is just kind of like the, you know, very minimalistic kind of seats and everything. Or we got like the retro ones. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go with those. Steering wheel, let's go. I think these are just the normal ones you get from Benny's, but. Oh, okay, we got a couple new steering wheel options. That's nice to see. We've got, okay, just two new ones at the bottom. I think. I think I'll use one of them, you know, go for like a rat rod style, but you know, we're not gonna go too crazy with it. We're not gonna use this one. We're gonna go with the chain. You know, we're gonna have some self-respect, use those. Shifters, just the standard Benny stuff. Yeah, nothing new here. I'm gonna go with this one though with the king, because that thing looks it. Look at my boy right there. Cigarette and everything. That is cold. Mmm. Alright, doors, doors, doors. Let's see what we got going on in the door cards. I don't think a vintage panel really works. Since we are kind of going crazy with it. But I really do love how this one looks. So we're just going to go with it. Uh, light color. Just make it white. Easy to see. Roll cages. Okay. Nah. Nah. If we're driving something as wild as this, we don't need no roll cage. Screw that. All right, lights, just normal. Uh, we went with delivery. Mirrors, mirrors. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Touring, it's not bad. Ooh. The rat rod mirrors are nice, but I don't want to like make the, the build like a mashup of like four or five different things. I want to stick to like a single theme and just work with it. So I think I might just go with the tourings. Ornaments. Oh, okay, we got like little hood ornaments and stuff. All right, but if we're going for like the cow skull, why is it so small? That's, I don't know, is this like a thing in the beetle community or is like, you know, I, I'm not too clued up on beetles. So I think since we're going for like a race sort of thing, I'll just go with the flat one. And plate wise, um, I don't know if there's anything I have that really matches this car. So I might just go for the standard branding. Right, so with the color and everything, I had no idea what I wanted to do. So we're just gonna go straight to the roof options and those spikes, those spikes are gonna have to be the play. I gotta get rid of the surfboard, we gotta clean that up. But I like the family roof rack stuff, the surfboards. Mm, really, like let's not, let's not do any of this, okay? Stop pretending this is a classic build. We've already ruined it enough. Let's go with them spikes, man. It has to be it. Now, when it came to color, I spent way too long trying to figure out what I wanted. So I've just sped it up a little bit for you guys because five minutes of me going, hmm, this color, this color, I don't think you'll find that too interesting. So I just went with 
white and cream as the kind of duo combo like that. I figure it works with delivery, you know, just my thoughts on that. But anyway, we'll get right to the next customization options. Okay, so when it comes to trim, since we're going for kind of an older build, I figure we'll just go for something that looks a bit aged, you know, like a, a brown or something like that. Keep it simple, nothing too crazy over here. So we'll just go with that. Let's look at, let's look at the side skirts. So we've got like the chrome running boards. All right. Honestly, I don't really think any of these are gonna fit with the build, so leave it stuck. Sun strips, okay. To be honest, I was hesitant at first, but this car is growing on me. The more I tune it up, the more ridiculous I make it, the more I'm starting to like this thing. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've got to go with these visors, man. We've got to just make it a crazy build. Why not? Go all out. Okay, wings. I know this is going to be mad, so let's just go from the bottom up. And there it is. What is that? I actually want to see if anyone used that, that giant one right there. But, oh... Why does this drag wing work? You know what? Let's go with that. Let's go with it. That looks sick. Just go for the other options for you there. Like, I mean, pretty crazy all across the board. But, hey. And we can slam it as well. Look at the camper. Oh, you best believe I'm slamming this thing, you know. This thing is sick. All right, transmission we've done up. Done up. Oh, now the wheels, the wheels. Now, I can, I, I can go two ways with this. We can go for a classic style, or we can... But we've already, you know, ruined this build. I say ruined. We've, we've made this into a masterpiece so far. And we could add to that with our wheel choice. So, I really don't know what we want to go with here. My options at the minute, I'm thinking I have a Giga Meshes, like these BBS-type rims. Or we could keep something a little classic, maybe go something like smoothies in the Benny's Originals. Because they look really good on quite a lot. All right, so after a quite a bit of debating with myself of whether to go with like the classics or the, the you know, the more tuna star rims, honestly, I'm not too sure yet. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tidy up the bumpers, go for the extended lip, and then just something a bit cleaner on the back, actually. The buyer kind of works with this. I don't know if you're seeing it, but I think it works for this, you know. This is actually not too bad. But yeah, wheels, I've just spent far too long kind of arguing myself over. Maybe it's the stance. Maybe it's the stance. So let's just go through, take a look at some smoothies again, like the other ones. Because these, I feel like with the little red lip, the tiny one around the edge, and it mostly in chrome, I feel like that works, you know. Let's try those out and stance this and then see. Because th those Giga Meshes were not hitting for me. Yeah, none of these other options. Like, nah, I'm not feeling these, not feeling these. These are just a bit too out there. And this car, this car's all about that, but not for me. Like, yeah, Giga Meshes are a close second. I think we got to keep some element of the classic start of this and then slam it down. You have to slam it down, come on gotta do this thing just this so i think that's just about it for the build honestly i actually really like this car it is incredibly wild it's very out there a lot of options and i figure we'll just do a quick test run on the road see what it's like but honestly i really like this thing so far let me know what your thoughts are on my build and on the car in general down below in the comments but uh let's just see how this handles really quick on the road all right, so we got my friend Riley in the passenger seat. And we're going to take him for a spin. Oh, this thing could do wheelies. Why is this car so quick? It has zero business being this fast. Okay, okay, this is exciting me now. Acceleration on this thing actually seems crazy fast. Okay, I mean, look, the handling isn't the best, but that's probably because I've slammed it with like two millimeters of, you know, clearance. But this thing, it, you know, if anything, it handles like an RC car. It's just kind of wild. Nah, this thing is honestly awesome. <laughs> I mean, I am going to have to test this for drifting. Um, and, you know, if you guys want to see that, definitely comment it down below. But... 
this car has impressed me. I'm really liking how it performs at the minute. Obviously, I can't really drive, but um, from my 30 second test drive of it, this thing actually seems sick. Got a decent amount of oversteer as well, so it's looking promising and it can double clutch. But that is gonna be it for today's video. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe for much more GTA automotive and drifting content. I do wanna hear below what your thoughts are on this car because I feel like this is gonna be a pretty controversial one. But so far, I'm loving it. Anyways, I hope you guys really do enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.